Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. I've got another paper embroidery project for you today, and this time I'm doing a cross-stitch boho rainbow. So I'm going to start with a quarter sheet of Nina Solar White, 80 pound, and I need to make sure that that is aligned nice and straight to the original Ellen Hudson piercing plate, and I'm just going to use washi tape to secure it and make sure that it doesn't move or, you know, it doesn't budge when it goes through the pressure of the die cutting machine. And then I should have been more careful when I was removing my washi tape because I did mar the backside of the paper, but because it's not going to be seen in the end result, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> now be sure to download the free pattern that I created for you over at the link in the description box. And then I am going to start with the outermost arc. Now you could start on the interior and work your way out if you wanted to. I don't know that there's a right or a wrong way of doing this because uh, embroidery is not my wheelhouse. But this is how I did it, and it worked out just fine. So I counted over using uh, a pencil, and I made those marks there so you could see exactly um, why I started where I do um, on my panel here. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to count over and down um, over those spaces to get to where I need to be. So once I find that you know, sweet spot, that is where the first stitch needs to go, I'm actually going to take my needle and puncture it with uh, the needle just to make sure that I can see on the back side where I need to insert my needle. So now I've found the hole and then I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up through the hole and I'm going to secure it with a piece of uh, scotch tape. And you could use a knot if you want to tie a knot, but I wanted to keep this as flat as possible. So that's why I'm using the scotch tape and it works just spiffy. So that I'm just rolling with it. So now I'm going to take the first stitch and of course I'm going to do this whole roll on the diagonal. So I'm going to do all, you know, from left to right until I get that whole row of stitches done. And then I will reverse the order and go the opposite angle as I cross back over those first stitches. And I think that's eight stitches there in the top row. I don't know, you'll have to count them. But anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and complete this row and then I'll do my cross stitching back over. Now I'm on that final stitch and I'm going to come back up through that opposite hole there on the other side and start making my diagonal stitches going back the other way. And uh, I'm just going to zip ahead with the camera because it's basically the same stitch over and over and over again. So I've reached that final stitch and I just wanted to show you a close up there of how that looks. And then I'm going to start with the next row down. Now I'm going to move over to the left one hole and do another row of stitches, all the same thing, all the way across. And then I'll cross back over and you're going to see here, I've got my first two rows completed and then I am going to start on the left hand side and then I'm just going to work my way down the left hand side and then I'll complete the right hand side. So I'm just going to show you some still shots here since you don't need to see me doing the exact same stitch over and over and over again. <laughs> so there's the top left side of the arch and then I came down um, that whole left row going the one direction and then I'll turn around and reverse order and go back up. And the reason why I like to do it that way is that then I'm not wasting any thread just, you know, with stitches that are going on the back side way over to the other side. So I don't have loose threads on the back. And so now that I've reached the end of the first arc, I'm going to start on the second arc. Now because it is just two rows uh, parallel to each other, I can um, actually go back and forth doing those two rows instead of doing one side and then the other side like I did on the first arc. So there you can see my finished row of cross stitches. And then the final row, of course, I'm just going to go all the way around in one row and then come back the other direction. And there I'm almost finished. And then once I get to the end of that, it's time to do the cinnamon. And this is using something called a backstitch. 
Now the back stitch is a little bit uh, different from the cross stitch. You are going to be stitching in straight lines, but you're actually going to be going forward a space and then back stitching a space. So to show you what I mean is I went down and created that first stitch and then I came up the next hole, but instead of going down the next hole, I'm actually going to send my needle and thread through the last hole. So I went back a stitch. And then as I come down through that, I'm going to move ahead, skip to the next stitch or the next hole. So you can see here on the back side how I'm skipping. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back to the previous hole and go back down again. So you're always going back one stitch. It's kind of like um, you're going forward two when you come up, but then you're going back down one stitch backwards. So I hope that makes sense. But anyway, I'm just going to continue uh, filming this for a few more minutes uh, so you can see where that needle is coming up and then going back down again. And you're just going to complete that until you get all the way around. It doesn't even matter if you're going around a corner. You still the th same uh, stitch is going to be used because if the thread gets like curved on the back side, no one's ever going to see it. But there I've got all my straight letters perfectly done. Now I did notice when I got to this part, I accidentally uh, started my letters or my greeting one row lower than I should have. And so it caused me to have um, a smaller gap down at the very bottom of the paper. And so when I go to trim this and mount it on the card, I'm going to need to adjust my trimming um, to make sure that I don't uh, trim too much off the bottom and just trim off the top and the sides so that it fits my A2 card. And I hope this inspires you and you give that boho rainbow cross stitch a try. Thanks for watching.